Antarctica, a vast icy expanse at the southernmost tip of our planet, but beneath its frosty exterior, this continent holds secrets that have baffled and fascinated scientists for decades. Around 34 million years ago, this frigid wasteland was nothing like it is today. Instead of the relentless snow and glaciers we associate with Antarctica, imagine a place teeming with lush forests, diverse flora, and even dinosaurs. That's right. Fossil records show that before its deep freeze, Antarctica was a thriving ecosystem with various prehistoric creatures. So, how did this transformation from forested to frozen happen? It all comes down to the Earth shifting tectonic plates. As Antarctica drifted southward, it gradually became isolated from the other continents by the vast southern ocean. This separation led to the development of the cold Antarctic circumpolar current, which acted like a chilly moat, preserving the icy interior and locking Antarctica into its frosty fate. Yet, Antarctica isn't just a land of ice and snow, it's also a land of mystery. Over the years, scientists have uncovered remnants of its warmer past, fossilized plants, ancient pollen, and even evidence of dinosaur habitats. These discoveries challenge our perceptions and push us to reimagine the dynamic life that once flourished on this frozen continent. When we think of evidence, we often think of concrete, undeniable proof. In Antarctica's case, the evidence of its tropical past is embedded deep beneath its icy crust. The first clues came in the form of coal. Now, coal might seem like a mundane discovery, but think about its origin. Coal is formed from the remains of vegetation that lived and died in swampy tropical conditions hundreds of millions of years ago. Finding coal in Antarctica means that there were once swamps and forests, where now there's just ice. Then there's the petrified wood. In the Transantarctic Mountains, scientists have discovered trees that existed over 250 million years ago during the Permian period. These weren't just any trees, they were relatives of today's ginkgo trees, just imagine. Ancient ginkgo swaying gently under the Antarctic sun. But perhaps the most captivating evidence are the fossils of ancient creatures. Dinosaurs like the Creolophosaurus, a meat-eating theropod, once roamed this region. Not to mention the different marine reptiles and varied plant life which paint a vivid picture of a lively, thriving and, above all, green Antarctica. Plants. They're the silent witnesses of Earth's extensive history, and in Antarctica they provide compelling evidence of a jungle-like past. As scientists ventured into the depths of Antarctica, they came across something astonishing, fossilized imprints of plants, but these weren't the remnants of cold-resistant flora. These were the ghosts of ferns, palms, and even members of the Baobab family. Imagine where we now see a frozen expanse. There was once a dense forest canopy, filled with sounds of rustling leaves and chirping birds. One incredible find was the Glossopteris. This plant, characterized by its tongue-shaped leaves, thrived during the Permian period, around 300 million years ago. The discovery of Glossopteris fossils in Antarctica and interestingly, in other southern continents like South America, Africa, and India, paints a tale of the supercontinent Pangaea. But the flora's story doesn't stop there. Layers of sediment also reveal pollen and spores, an indication of the plant diversity that once existed. From giant horsetails to thick conifer forests, the Antarctic landscape was a haven for a myriad of plant life. These remnants are more than just fossils. They are a direct portal, a tangible connection to a time when Antarctica was draped in green, its air thick with humidity and echoing with the life sounds of a tropical jungle. Earth as we know it today is quite different from what it looked like millions of years ago. Continents were cozy neighbors forming massive land masses. And Antarctica? Well, it was in a much warmer position. The concept of plate tectonics is fundamental to understanding Earth's history. It's like Earth's puzzle where the pieces, continental plates, are constantly, albeit slowly, moving. The movement of these plates has been responsible for the creation and destruction of landmasses over eons. One of the most renowned supercontinents was Pangaea. Around 300 million years ago, this gigantic landmass held most of Earth's continents together, and our mysterious Antarctica was nestled right there, joined with present-day South America, Africa, and Australia. But... How can we be so sure of these prehistoric configurations? Rocks, specifically rock formations that match across different continents. For instance, 
The rocks found in Antarctica have siblings in parts of South America and Africa, suggesting they were once part of the same land. As Pangaea began to break apart due to the churning movements beneath the Earth's crust, Antarctica started its journey southward, eventually ending up at the pole. And as it drifted, the climate changed drastically, leading to the icy continent we recognize today. Plate tectonics have shaped our world, crafted its history, and will continue to mold its future. It's a reminder that Earth is always in flux, forever evolving and never truly static. When we picture Antarctica today, we think of penguins, seals, and perhaps a lost scientist or two. But travel back in time and you'll be met with a radically different cast of characters. The discovery of ancient animal fossils in Antarctica has been nothing short of astounding. It paints a picture of a teeming landscape, a polar paradise where cold-loving animals were nowhere to be seen. Instead, imagine roaming dinosaurs, dense forests echoing with the calls of varied avian life, and vast waters swimming with reptiles. One of the most famous discoveries was the Antarctic Cryolophosaurus, a large theropod dinosaur with a unique crest on its head. This predator, existing around 190 million years ago during the early Jurassic period, offers substantial evidence that dinosaurs once roamed this now icy land. But it wasn't just on land. The Antarctic waters teemed with life too. Elasmosaurs, a type of long-necked marine reptile, cruised the ancient seas alongside other marine reptiles like ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs. This tells us that the waters around ancient Antarctica were relatively warm, facilitating a diverse marine ecosystem. And remarkably, evidence also points towards forests that once grew here. With fossilized tree remains and pollen grains, we can imagine a lush landscape, possibly similar to the temperate forests of New Zealand today. It makes one wonder what dramatic turn of events led from thriving forests and roaming dinosaurs to the barren, icy wasteland we see today. The ever-changing Earth holds its secrets close, with Antarctica serving as a poignant testament to its dynamic history. Around 200 million years ago, Antarctica was part of the supercontinent Pangaea. It was situated farther north, experiencing a much warmer climate than it does today. As the supercontinent began to break apart, Antarctica gradually drifted southward. With its southerly migration, it grew isolated and cold. By around 34 million years ago, the first major ice sheets began to form, starting with the East Antarctic Ice Sheet. This was a tipping point, a transformation from greenery to a blanket of ice. The formation of the Antarctic Circumpolar Current played a key role in this, as Antarctica separated from South America and Australia, oceanic currents could flow freely around it, effectively trapping the cold waters and preventing warmer equatorial waters from mixing in. Another factor, the decreasing levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. CO2 acts as a greenhouse gas trapping heat. With less of it, Earth's temperature began to drop, further favoring ice formation in Antarctica. Our current understanding of climate change, powered by human activities, points to an undeniable increase in global temperatures. With polar regions being particularly sensitive to these changes, it raises a question. Could Antarctica's buried past be its future? Today, accelerated glacial melting is evident. While the re-emergence of a forested Antarctica within our lifetimes is unlikely, these changes signal a shift. Should warming trends continue, we could witness significant reductions in Antarctic ice. Such reductions not only alter Antarctica's landscape, but have wider implications. Rising sea levels, changing global weather patterns, and the loss of habitats for polar species are just some potential consequences. However, in this changing landscape lies an opportunity. As ice recedes, it unveils more secrets from its tropical past. Scientists can access better preserved fossils, revealing more about Earth's history and, in turn, aiding predictions about our planet's future. As we gaze upon Antarctica's vast, icy wilderness, we are reminded of the impermanence of its state. It stands as a testament to Earth's dynamic nature and its ability to transform over epochs. But with our recent influence on the climate, the pace of that change is now being tested more than ever.